Hi, I'm Chris Cook and I'm going to tell you how I take part in my community. Well, how I got started was I saw a, a notice in the local notice board. Um, at that time I had a bit of ill health, so I'd got plenty of spare time on my hands. And it was a notice for the Eastern Road Partnership. So I went along to that very first meeting, which was actually here in Somerset Point. Yeah, when I started attending the meetings early on, um, I needed a lot of support, but that support was available. Um, from the neighbourhood management team, we had Nikki Cambridge and Becky Pennell, and yeah, I got all the support I needed, and it was great getting that support. In the early days of me volunteering, I went along to um, a meeting which was organised by the Eastern Road Partnership. I was quite nervous about attending but wanted passionately to get involved within the community. So I put my hand up and found myself elected chair of the East Road Partnership and that was some three years ago. Then I found myself in the position that my, I had no such skills as chairing or my people skills were particularly weak as well. But the neighbourhood management team put me in touch with an organisation called the Working Together Project. and. Very soon I, my chairing skills were much more improved, as were my people skills, and I've never looked back really. Um, and now um, in the community I'm actually chairing three such community groups. One of the groups I got involved with was the St James's Local Action Team, and the reason I got involved with that particular group in the community was that I had a good friend involved already, and it was doing really good work in the, in the area where I live, so I wanted to get involved. We've made loads of improvements in St James's Street and it really does give me a buzz when I walk down that street to see all the changes we've made. I'm also involved with the local action team and I've been chair for the last year now. As a community it's really important that we get together to make a difference because we discuss local issues and we, we get things done. We, we've got a voice and we get heard. Another thing I'm really proud of was the St James's Area Action Day real cleanup. So that involved the businesses on this street, the residents, really working with city clean people, the local police, the environment improvement people, the neighbourhood management team to really give this street a really good clean. And we blitzed the whole street, we put in some new bins, we planted around some trees, and it was a really good feel. I'm really proud of what we've done in the garden here at the New Steen. After taking down the hedges and we've replanted, we really took ownership of the garden. It's really given it a new lease of life. And a couple of weeks ago, we had several hundred people here for the unveiling of the statue uh, by Romany Mark Bruce, because this really is the centre of the LGBT community here in Kemp Town. So here we are in the Mayor's Parlour and it's where I organised a reception as a thank you to all the people who'd helped me with the um, Clean and Green Days this year. It was a, I organised it as a thank you to them for all their efforts uh, during the year. The um, Clean and Green teams this year have done really a lot of work. We've had two of them this year and the reception was really to say a huge thank you to all of them for their efforts. So it was the local residents, the um, City Parks team, the City Clean team, neighbourhood management team, environment improvement team, uh, we had a smattering of local councillors as well, and also the PCSOs. So it was a real community effort, and I, I really got a thrill out of actually inviting them to this location, and it gave me a buzz seeing them uh, just smiling. Volunteering and working in the community has really changed my life for the better. I have worked in the last couple of years with the most amazing people, people I never thought I'd, I'd, I'd be working with. And I must say, I have changed in those last two years, and I would say I'm a much happier person by doing this voluntary work and taking part. Hi, my name is Tony Mundy. I'm chair of the Kemp Town Community Safety Action Group. I met Chris about two years ago now. He was chair of one of the um, residents association. We worked on lots of issues together, especially cyclists going out the wrong way, wrong way down St James Street, and street drinking, begging, um, cleaning up St James Street, dogs mess. So that's a few of the things we've worked on together. Also, my group has helped uh, some of the residents associations with their uh, community chests so that they can get things like watcher sets and helping St James House with their computer room, etc. Since I've been involved with the action groups, I've uh, felt a lot of um, bonding in the community 
myself and my wife. My wife also chairs the Health Action Group for Tyne and Eastern Road. And we both get a sense of being in the community now we're involved with it. And it's nice to see people enjoying the community as well, which is what it is all about. So that's how our community takes part. How will you take part?